Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If any of you are welcome, my name is Rosina Sharon. So Merry Christmas. I hope you have had an amazing, you know, Christmas and happy holidays, happy new year, because it's about to be 2022. And today I am doing uh, makeup on this very beautiful soul over here. So before you do that, kindly subscribe, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. With no further ado, let us go straight into the video. So we're going to start off with the eyebrows as always. <laughs> so we're just brushing it through with a spoolie first before we start lining. And to line for dark skins, I normally start with a uh, Davis number no. three. It is not a very dark shade. I only use a dark shade when it comes to um, filling in. So I'm using the Davis number no. three to line. And then after that, I am going to use the Becca primer to brush through her eye. No, no, I'm not using the Becca primer. I am using the Maybelline Eyebrow Gel Mascara. And then press it in. And allow it to dry out completely first before you go ahead and start filling in so when it comes to filling in for dark skins I normally use a darker shade of eye pencil so this one here I am using the Davis number one eye pencil and then after that we're going to draw hair like structures around uh, the inner corner of the eyebrows so it appears a bit more natural around uh, the inner corner and then after we are going to clean the eyebrows, I'm using the Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. Starting off from the outer corner and then using the product remaining on the brush around the inner corner because we don't want an accumulation of product around the inner corner. And then on the upper side of the eyebrow, we're going to use a foundation. And then next, when it comes to applying eyeshadow, we're going to set the eyelids using the very same shade of concealer we use first before we start applying eyeshadow. And uh, for today's eyeshadow, we wanted to focus the transitioning shades around uh, her upper lid because uh, the eye makeup we are going for, um, I don't know whether to call it a cut crease really. But uh, we just wanted the focus to be on the eye makeup today because she has very, very beautiful eyes and we wanted to enhance that, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then uh, we're going to blend it in uh, with an orange, uh, red orange shade. All the products used on this um, tutorial will be on the description box. So if you want to see the products, kindly check the description. And then uh, around the crease region, we're going to use uh, the P. Louis eyeshadow base in the shade number two first. At first, I did not want to create a cut crease per se, but I ended up doing a cut crease regardless. So, yeah. When it comes to drawing a cut crease, do not drag your brush around. Tap, tap, tap until you get that desired shape you want it to go for. And then after that, we're just going to apply the shade of eyeshadow on the crease region. I wanted to start off with the matte shade first before I apply glitter on top of it. I normally don't like mixing shimmer with glitter, it becomes too much. When you do matte, then shimmer on top of it. I mean, then a glitter on top of it, it looks amazing. And then around the inner corner, we're going to use a brighter shade and then blend it in to the first crease shade so it appears as one, does not look like two separate entities. And then after that, we're just going to blend in at the edges of the crease, the cut crease. So at least the whole eyeshadow is blended from top to bottom. And because I wanted to do a bit of glitter on the cut crease, we're going to start off by applying um, glitter glue from... Uh, this one is from NYX and then we're going to apply a bit of a gold glitter we're not going to do too much glitter you know just a tiny bit it goes a long way look at that very very beautiful I liked this eye makeup and then after that we're just going to do an eyeliner a black eyeliner first for her because uh, her eye area is uh, very very flexible she does not have any she does not have um, eyelids 
so you can work with it however you want and then after that we're going to do a blue eyeliner on top of that i just wanted to do something extra and the blue looked amazing so i decided to do a blue eyeliner on top and then we're going to apply falsies next i normally do this after i have applied mascara i forgot to put that part on the video sorry and then I do the cream eyeliner on her waterline before I move on to foundation because I don't want to mess up her foundation when I start doing her face. So moving on to the face, I wanted to hydrate her face completely because she has very, very dry skin, very dry skin. So I started off with a, the ordinary hyaluronic acid, sorry, on her bare face, bare, bare skin and then allowed it to set first and then after that I applied a lot of moisturizer and sunscreen just to moisturize her skin completely to maintain that moisture on her skin because her skin is very very dry and then after applying that allow it to set first before you move on to doing a primer and then next because her skin is dry you don't want to use a very mattifying a primer so for primer we're going for the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer focusing it around the T-zone region of her face and then for primer tap it in tap 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 until it is absorbed into the skin and then again allow it to set fast before you move on to the foundation so next uh, for foundation we are using the Maybelline uh, Superstay. I mixed two, mahogany and uh, dark cocoa, just to get her perfect shade. Cause one was too dark, one was a bit brighter, so I had to mix the two. And we're going to blend it in uh, using a brush. And avoid using fresh products around uh, the under eye and uh, the corners of the nose. And when it comes to blending, tap it in okay tap your brush in don't move mo move your brush around sorry and then after that we're going to highlight using a bright shade of concealer this is like two shades uh, lighter than her skin tone placing it around the inner corner of her eye and a bit on the outer corner little product goes a long way so please avoid using too much product especially when it comes to highlighting with concealers anytime you're using a concealer avoid using too much product that goes for foundation too just generally <laughs> generally do not use too much product and then um, for concealer I prefer blending it in using a beauty blender instead of a brush that is just my preference so yeah that is what i'm going to use to blend that in then i'm going to start off by blending in the under eye first before i move on to blending in the bridge of her nose and uh, a bit on the forehead because her forehead is uh, is not small so you don't want to do a lot of highlighter on the forehead And then after that we're going to use a cream blush for this for her skin type i'm using a red and a tone because it goes well with dark skin and then uh, after that we're going to set in the areas where we highlighted using a concealer and please set all other areas you highlighted using a concealer that goes for the bridge of the nose forehead and if you did a bit of concealer around the mouth please set it in and for her, I am using uh, the Maybelline Finishing Powder in 355 to set. And then after that, we're going to contour. And that nose contour was looking good. Let me just tell you. It was looking good. And make sure you um, clean it out using a clean brush. Blend it in using a clean brush so you avoid having very harsh lines around uh, the nose contour and uh, remember to contour your forehead as well then after that we're just going to set the whole face using a setting spray i am using the elf dewy setting spray because her skin is uh, dry and then for highlighting i'm just going to highlight the bridge of her nose 
and a bit on the cupid's bow i'm going to do highlighter on her cheeks for the lips i started off with a black lip liner and uh, did a bit of a, a very subtle nude on the lip because i do not want her to do a very bold lip for her not to contradict her eye makeup because her eye makeup is looking amazing so this is our before our models before and uh here is her after <laughs> i hope you enjoyed watching this whole tutorial i wanted um a very i don't know very beautiful eyes very subtle lips i don't know what how to call this look but she looks amazing in my opinion so thank you so so much for watching let me know what you think about this whole look in the comment section and i hope you have learned something thank you for watching i'll be seeing you on our next video bye